today I'm going to have a little fun. Um, I'm going to actually review and pick apart this little radio it's made by a company called Polarlander. This is one of those import Chinese kind of companies um, you find on eBay. This particular one had over like 900 sales in the last 30 days. I said, what the heck sells that good? I wish I only had something that sells that good. So I said, let me grab one of these things. Let me get it mailed to me. And let me see what this thing's all hyped out. If it's good or if it's junk or what it is. So let's find out what's up with this unit. This here is the unit that I purchased. Pretty cheap, right? 27 bucks. Look at all these people. 4,000 and change that bought this thing recently. That's crazy. Oh, <laughs> you poor people. <laughs> Wait and see. Oh, you're in for a treat. Check this. Pretty cool, huh? Only the high-end companies have that. Uh, it just goes on and on. All the features. Um, the Bluetooth is interesting, to say the least. Quite a listing, though, right? I can see why it sells so well. First thing I want to show you is just, as a side note, this here is my shipping scale from my warehouse. And this here is a marine Bluetooth receiver that I'm going to take a look at later. And you can see the weight, pretty typical, 4.10 ounces, right? Now watch so this. Here comes our friend Mr. Polarlander with the harness, you know, the manual, if you even call it that, and the box. Total weight, 1.4 ounces. What? This thing weighs like nothing. I think my, I think my socks weigh that much. Look at this radio. So this unit comes with this little remote control, pretty typical credit card bubble button type of deal. Um, really typical old school uh, 16 pin harness look at this radio i mean this thing is in itself this right here is about 12 ounces it's a usb plays bluetooth and am fm radio um some notes about this radio now you can see that this model is made overseas um not that i have anything against being made stuff being made overseas however um, I don't like to be lied to. So this radio here is 60 watts by 4. Um, I've looked inside. This thing has a total of like 3 transistors. And this thing um, on the output side, I got a total of like 7.5 watts RMS. Um, so obviously no CEA rating. This thing doesn't have a SKU number. It doesn't even have any type of identifiable um, product code which would be utilized over here in the United States of America. However, we'll still give it the benefit of the doubt and move forward. Check this thing out and see what it can do. So the unit is powered onto the power supply right now. I'm going to use a remote control, the one I illustrated before. Uh, let's turn it on. Pretty good, right? Pretty good, man. Nice knob. Um, this thing looks like it can rock back and forth, however, it does not. It's like a push button deal. Um, power button located right here and here. One touch, which is nice. EQ. You toggle through all the different presets, what those presets are. You have to leave it to your imagination because there's no other way to know. This here is the IR transmitter for the remote control. Resume, you have your play pause button located right here. You have your mode for call and end, which we're going to see how this unit pa pairs to the Bluetooth and as well as plays and sounds. Um, down here you got your presets. SD card reader right here. Analog 3.5 millimeter input and you have a standard SD card slot right here. So that's pretty... It's a pretty good show there. You got a lot for your money. I can tell you that. This is a mechanicless unit. It does not play CDs, MP3s, or any of that stuff through the disk drive. It's just a strictly total mechanicless free, mechanical free, if I'm saying that right, mechanic free, whatever the hell I'm saying. Uh, it's free of any moving parts. Okay, so you got that. You have your manual, which is basically not a whole lot of manual of anything. Um, I mean, it's the bare essentials. Um, you know, nothing really much to say about there, but let's just see if this thing actually works with the Bluetooth because that's what I bought this thing for and that's what I'm trying to find out if this thing's worth the hype or if it's just a piece of junk. I want to know. So I got the unit powered up onto my power supply over there. I'm going to use this remote control, which is infrared. Push that button right in there. It powers up. It actually has a nice little black background type of, you know, LCD display. It looks nice, colorful. I like that. Very easy to read. Actually, very easy to read. So I'll give you that. This right here is kind of like a knockoff of like an old Sony or a Pioneer kind of like 
toggle switch which used to go up and down you should push it and it was a multi jog type of deal um, this one here is none of that you can just basically push it in to toggle through your bass fader loudness these are your EQ stereo DX and your volume and these you could actually push in and it actually does steps and odds and evens as well not just like in the US where they're just simply odd numbers this one here will actually go either way so my interpretation of this unit is that it can actually play in Europe as well as the United States of America. However, it's not in the manual because the manual is non-existent. So I can't really state whether it does or does not work overseas. But for the United States, it does. It does pick up. Not very well, but it, I'm in a warehouse with a metal roof, so I can't really say a whole lot of bad about it. Aside from that, this unit I do believe is the same chassis that they use for the step-up piece, which has Bluetooth because it has the mode and call button right here as well as a microphone. That's all absent from here because this unit is just an FM, USB, SD, and auxiliary player. Your 3.5 millimeter is right here. The SD slot is right here. This is the USB. I have an iPhone 5 here, which I'm going to try to plug in. Let's see what she does. Okay. So I'm going to hit the source. say this is weird the last time I did this it actually came up and it was blinking SD now it's saying BT so this thing is not working I'm going to play my iPhone and you can see that the audio is coming out of my mp3 player not out of the device so it scores a zero on that because you don't even get a one if it doesn't even recognize the media that's not good so all in all this radio for what it's worth it's obviously not a CEA rated product that's not um, a reputable product as well. Um, the instructions are very lackluster um, and very in need of help to say the least. On the back end, they are using the US standard colors. Um, does have two sets of RCA preamp outputs and your standard analog input. Um, the stated, or I should say the rated audio output power, total lie. This thing is seven watts approximately. Lots of distortion, uh, very light on um, go very high on the show so if you're looking for something really cheap for like a toy like a, a golf cart or a quad or something really cheesy this might be good for you but for if you, for your real car steer clear of these things they're not worth the money they may look nice the price may be appealing but the performance is anything but so keep looking <laughs>